For this video, we're going to look at the copy and paste function on the Deluge. So I have a little pattern here. It's running through MIDI channel 5, which is going to my JU06 boutique. So before, you could just hold down shift, press this knob, and it would duplicate it. So I'm going to undo that. If we want to do that manually, we're just going to open up to a new bar here and hold down learn and press the knob. That copies what's on the screen here. So this copies all of the notes that are in this certain time frame. So if I go over here, hold down shift learn, and it pasted exactly what we did. So that's the same thing as duplicating. Uh, the copy and paste function actually has some pretty cool stuff. So I'm gonna teach you how you can transpose. So what I'm gonna do for transposing now, uh, we don't have really any guidelines for this, so I'm just going to say uh, you want to have your note probably at the bottom or the top that you want to use for reference. So this is like your root note. So that's a C5. So I'm just having that on the top of the screen. We're going to copy. Now we're going to go to the next screen and let's bring it down. So we're going to make it F4. So now that we moved there, we're going to hold down shift, learn, and press the knob, and it just pasted that same pattern at a different transposition. So I'm gonna press play so we can hear what we just did. So let's say we like that, but we want to make it faster. So if I press learn and press the knob, we just copied it. Now what we're going to do is overwrite everything. So I just zoomed in to the 16th note and we're going to press shift, learn and the knob and we just pasted it. Now we're going to do the same thing on the next screen and now we can zoom out and what we just did was made it twice as fast. So press play. And without changing anything, I can bring it right back. If I paste it, now we're back slower. And then if we want to make it even longer, just bring it over another screen, zoom out, and then we can paste again. And there it is, it's going to be even longer. Now we're going to look at automation. We can also copy and paste it. So what I have is an internal synth and a pattern here. And we're just going to press record. We're going to go to the cutoff and just record the cutoff as it plays. So let's say I like that, but I want to apply that cutoff, that same automation, onto this track down here. So to copy the parameter automation, I'm just going to press learn and then tap on that specific knob. So that means we're copying that and it's in the memory. Now I'm going to go down to this track, shift, learn, and then press that same knob and it just pasted it. So now let's listen to it. So it's doing the same automation as this one. <laughs> 